few weeks ago, I had the most delicious dip. It was a smoked mushroom dip. I loved it so much, I thought I'd try to make it at home and it works a treat. First of all, you need to make yourself a makeshift smoker. So I've got a pot here and I've lined it with lots of foil. You want to do this because you don't want to ruin your pot. I've also got some wood chips here. Now, be sure to choose wood chips that are untreated. So some nice natural wood chips. They go into our pot. And essentially these are going to catch and develop some smoke and this is what's going to give our mushrooms a lovely depth of flavour. So let's place our basket in, just a metal basket, pop the lid on. So the smoke's developing in there so let's prepare the mushrooms. Some good old Swiss mushrooms, I'm going to cut them in half. I don't want to cut them too small and I also don't want to over smoke them so they taste like an ashtray. That's not what we're trying to achieve here. We really want that lovely woody flavour that we already get in gorgeous mushrooms. Great. And in they go. You want to do this quickly because you want to catch all that smoke. And mushrooms, they're just like sponges so they will absorb all that beautiful flavour. Lid on. Turn the heat off. We just want them to take on some of that smoke. Now, while they're sitting in there, let's get the rest of this going. So into a sauté pan, I'll add a knob of butter, about 15 grams, and a splash of extra virgin olive oil, just a small amount. And into this, I'll add one onion that I've finely chopped, along with some thyme. We'll just take off all those beautiful little leaves. And a pinch of salt and some freshly cracked pepper. And now we just want to cook this for about five to eight minutes or until those onions are softened. All right, this is softened down, so let's add our mushrooms. Oh, look at them. You can see how much smoke they've taken on. So we'll add these mushies. You can see they're still holding their shape. So we'll just pop them into our onion mixture. I will add another splash of oil here, just a small amount and just coat each mushroom in the onion. Now, I'm going to be blending this, so I'm not going to be pedantic and chop them up. To deglaze, some white wine. And now we want to cook these down until there's no more liquid at all in this. Then we need to cool it. All right, these glorious smoked mushrooms have cooled down. You can see there's no liquid whatsoever. It's all been absorbed. We'll place this into a food processor, onions and all. See, it smells good. And not overpowering either. OK. Now for some extra flavours, some feta. I love feta with this, so we'll just crumble that in. And some lemon zest, just the zest of half a lemon. I won't add any of the lemon juice at this stage. I'm going to get most of the tang from good old creme fraiche. I love creme fraiche. It has a tanginess. It also has a mild, creamy flavour. It's perfect for dips just like this. So I'm going to start with half of this creme fraiche. And we'll pop the lid on. And we'll give it a blend until it's nice and smooth. Okay, ooh, that's looking good. See how everything's finely chopped and it is smooth, but I want it to be extra creamy, so I will add the rest of this creme fraiche. Okay, one last blitz and it is done. Okay, our smoked mushroom dip is ready to go. Gee, it smells good. And I'm serving this with some homemade lavash. If you're going to make your homemade dip, you might as well serve it with a beautiful style cracker. We'll add a generous dollop of this into a decorative bowl. And just some cayenne pepper for some heat. You can mix it through or just garnish it over the top. Creamy smoked mushroom dip. Tell you what, you won't be finding that in a shop. This is outstanding. Your friends are going to love it.